Today, North and South Carolina workers are asking where's the money as their pay stays stagnant. Yeah, that's right. More than 20 states are increasing their minimum wage this year, but the Carolinas are not. Instead, staying at the federal minimum wage of $7.25. WCNC Charlotte's Kaylin Hagwood joining us now after looking into this concern. And Kaylin, what have you learned? Well, if you take a look at this map, the states that are highlighted in yellow increased their minimum wages to various amounts this year. The highest increase being out in Washington state, where their minimum wage increased to more than $16 an hour. Now, much of the South, though, not choosing to make that increase this year. North and South Carolina, as you mentioned, remain at $7.25 an hour, which is the lowest you can offer most employees based on federal law. Now, that number hasn't changed since 2009, and some workers and analysts say it's just not enough to make in meet. Eric Winston is a cook living out in Durham. After making minimum wage for much of his life, he's now working to advocate for others. It, it, to say it was hard, it was, you know, it's just uh, a micro, like a really microcosm of really what, what was going on. It was not to say hard, it was, it was basically survival. It's a humanitarian issue. You, you know, you as lawmakers uh supposed to, re supposed to represent us and well, the other side of raising wages is often the strain it puts on businesses, and some small shops say they won't be able to survive an increase. Larger businesses like Pizza Hut also feeling the effects with some franchise owners in California reportedly planning to lay off more than 1,000 drivers and rely on DoorDash to cut costs. Coming up at 5, we take a closer look at the issue with a South Carolina lawyer and hear from one employer who says the increase is stretching him thin. Kaylin, tough position to be in. Yeah, as he mentioned, it's tough. It's yeah, tough out there. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kaylin.